Yeah, now I can hear you. Yeah. Do we see an Ariana pick coming out? Very strong with Lane Champion along with Karma. Testing one, two, three, one, two, three, testing one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, I can hear you. What's up? But it's really quiet. It's really quiet. The gains got turned down, maybe. And then I think you should go up to the top. Well, maybe it's just, she just has to go to sound up. Whereas, the bad luck probably didn't have it. Just, uh, just talk her over. Dum, dum, dee, dum, 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 dee, dum, dum. What's up? <laughs> talk? Okay. But they can't even hear us. Okay, whatever. Fine. Just talk, we'll just talk anyway. Okay, what the fuck has happened in Champ Select? Uh, we oh. have Vigar being picked up. We have Karma being picked up. Wow, okay. This is this is really weird. Okay, great. Um, yeah, wow. So someone... It looks like they picked up Karma in response to the Shen pick, which is very interesting to me because I, I feel like Shen won't be able to... Well, maybe. I don't Shen know. Shen will have a hard time to deal with Karma. You think so? But... Well... Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I could, I could see it. It could be, it could be tough. One thing. Oh, does um, does the snare from Karma's thing stop Shen from teleporting? Does that work, or does does it have to be like do binds stop Shen from teleporting? Do you know? I think they do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That, I guess uh, I guess it should be okay then. Um, yeah, it should be interesting. I mean, I, I I don't know anything about that really matchup, but I I know Karma does bully around a lot of melee champions, so I guess we'll see what happens. Also interesting though is the Vigar pick, which was picked up. La it was the last pick, right? I, I believe, yeah. which is interesting. So, I'm not sure if that's something that they've played or they've practiced, but you don't see a lot of Vigar. Not really, and he's probably gonna have a hard time killing Oriana too, because she took barrier. Yeah, yeah, especially Oriana just kind of goes. She does. She doesn't go really straight AP. She kind of goes Chalice first into the uh, what's it called? Uh, an unholy Grail. Oh, no, sorry, unholy Grail goes into the Chalice, right? Yeah. Okay. Anyways, um, yeah, so she has kind of that early MR, so I'm, 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 I'm interested to see what's going to happen. Also interesting is um, Olaf is actually actually going to be able to run through Vigar's stun with his ultimate. So in the team fights, I feel like Vigar won't be able to protect himself very well against the Olaf. But I, I guess we'll see, you know. They do have a lot of disengage with the Zyra ult too, mm -hmm, which mm -hmm. helps to keep them more safe. And the Shen ult too. Yep, so. yep, yep. Uh, especially also uh, Sam's team has a lot of mobility like Oriana speed karma speed Olaf has ghost Severe has her speed boost like that is as That's a, a lot of engage and disengage. Yeah, they can the really has a lot of all around everything that they need Exactly exactly they can really control the pace of the fight They can dictate when the fight's gonna start and when it's gonna when they want to run away So That's very important on the other hand, though, I, I think Purple Team has a very good disengage with Caitlyn being able to escape um, with her Caliber Net, Shen being there for alt backup, and Zyra, of course, being a very good disengager. Yeah, and also the Elise Cocoon can stop people, too. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, and the Vigar And the Vigar stun. Yeah, so yeah. It, it, it's, it's really going to be an interesting match, you know. Both teams have their ups and downs, right? But we'll see, we'll see what happens. Both teams are really skilled, too, so it'll be a really interesting game. Oh, yeah, both teams are uh, high diamond, so this should, be, this should be a good one. Also interesting, Oriana actually took Barrier instead of Ignite, so she's going to be able to survive, hopefully. Play um, more safe and farm into the late game where she can be really useful. Yeah, yeah. Especially with her ultimate. Yep, definitely, definitely. Yeah, that, that ultimate really uh, starts putting out a lot of damage once you start getting some AP items, and it can really change a fight. 
Now, do you think level one we're going to see anything? I know with like the latest changes that they made to season four, um, there hasn't been too many level one fights, I feel like. Um, but I don't know. How, what, what do you think is going to happen? I think we'll see some warding of the buffs just to make sure that we know where the teams are. Mm -hmm. Where then, everyone is. Yeah. But I think purple team has a better level one. Okay. With okay. the Shenton and the Zyra snare. I agree. And they can also take like Cage on Vigar and they yeah. can take snare on Elise. So yeah, so if anyone, I, I wouldn't be surprised to see purple team um, try and make an aggressive play, maybe on red, maybe on blue. While as blue team, I try and just kind of protect their buffs. So who would you give the skin advantage to? This is a classic question I like to ask in the in the pregame. I give it to the blue team. The blue team? Yeah. Yeah, those are some nice skins. Um, both teams actually have just four skins and then yeah. they're missing team the one. Team four skin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... So yeah, this, this should be interesting. Yeah, lots of changes have just recently come down, um, just like practically like two days ago. So it's interesting to see how these teams adapt to all these different changes and which team is, I guess, better suited to thrive in, the, in this new environment. We see the double Relic Sheila coming up from both bottom lanes, which is really strong right now. Yeah, that's the item where I believe it's like you're la if you're laning with someone and your laner kills a creep, then you get like some extra gold and some extra health and stuff like that. So it's just a very efficient uh, gold item, essentially. But I believe they're nerfing it right on Monday, which is interesting because this is basically a chance for these teams to abuse them, abuse the item. With only having a couple days to get used to the patch and learn the new changes we'll see how this plays out yeah it's gonna be very interesting very interesting indeed so it looks like purple team is actually taking a more defensive approach um, setting up along their jungle making sure that blue team doesn't have any openings to come into their jungle and ward it up and it looks like purple team might want to no it looks like they're just gonna have a classic start they're gonna start at red both teams are gonna start at red and another interesting thing about the new jungle is you actually don't hit level 3 going from one camp to the other. So you actually have to do a camp in between the two camps. Um, so, I don't know. I, we'll see if that plays out. But that, it does give an opportunity for one team maybe to invade the other jungle and take advantage of the fact that the other one is doing a camp. And it looks like there's looks like purple team decided to go with two two of the sweeping lenses which are like essentially the i don't know how, how the red ones <laughs> and while the other team decided to go with more wards and I, I don't know which 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 trinket do you think is the most useful i think the sweeping lens is more useful because it helps it's almost like a pink ward but you can use it every 90 seconds yeah every 90 seconds 90 seconds yeah Interesting that they actually did a, a lane swap here, so they didn't actually let, um, they're not going to let Shen get bullied around by the, by the Karma, and instead they're kind of hoping that Shen can do better in the 2v1 rather than um, than Karma. Shen is really good in a 2v1 also, so. Yeah, true. Um, I don't think Karma has any heals, while Shen's no. thing she does, shields, she has shields, yeah, but that's not, and it's not, it's not quite the same. No. Shen will probably have a better time in the 2v1 than Karma. Yeah, I, I think so too. So we just see the junglers just picking up their buffs here. Um, nothing, nothing too much has happened so far. Samuel's just trying to get some early damage on the tower, and they're just trying to poke Shen down a little bit where they can. Pretty standard. I actually think I'm, I'm, I'm kind of torn. I don't, I don't know which which tower is going to fall first. Do you think Blue Team's tower is going to fall first? Kaylin's Ira is a very they push really hard, so I think uh, red side will have the tower. We'll have top tower go down first. Right, but uh, just well, just uh, just the counterpoint, I guess, is um, severe is actually very good. Yeah. Also at pushing with with that W bouncing, pretty much hitting every single minion, as far as I know, and she does have a little bit more damage on the tower so far, but that just might be because blue team is really just trying to get that early tower, while as purple team isn't quite as um, determined at the moment. So CS wise, pretty much pretty much equal. Um, mid lane, there's a little bit little bit of a discrepancy, but that's pretty much to be expected. Viger gets pushed around a little bit early on. 
Um, oh, Elise coming down for a gank, but Samuel blocks the Doesn't blocks the. Very repel. nice spell shield. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Some trades going on on top lane. At least still trying to make something happen. Oh. Olaf coming down. Oh man, yeah. this this could be huge. It looks like they're gonna be okay though. It looks like they're gonna back out of here. And they might just try and force this three v two. Olaf is pretty good with um. Oh man, getting some damage here on Samuel. But yeah, Olaf's pretty good at uh, clearing waves with his Q, and he can put a lot of pressure, especially with blue buff, because he can just spam the spam the Q all day long. Which is, it looks like exactly what they're trying to do right here. They're really trying to get that tower right away. It's already down at half health, while the top tower is... A little over half right now. So. Little over half, wow. So... Carmen taking a lot of poke right here. Yeah, definitely. She's hurting. So it looks like they're just going to keep on keeping the pressure on them. Um, both teams now realize that they're... Um, what, what they need to do, and they're trying to get these stars. Wow, getting some damage here on Pupos. Elise coming in. Flashes out, gets out okay. A lot of damage traded on both sides now. It's going to be interesting to see who, who... Oh, man. Wow, great play, great play. Flashes in to get the Caliber Net on, on, uh, on Karma to finish off the kill. <laughs> wow, just a great play. Can we uh, can we see like a replay of that? Do we even have those kind of powers? I have no idea. I think we do. Yeah. So Karma just taking some damage, getting pretty low. She must have just gotten caught out by Azira. Zyra Snare. Zyra Snare. Q. Yeah, that can be actually a lot of potential burst. Like, oh man. Okay. So she gets, she gets, flashes Caliber Net. Wow. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. And since then, nothing really has happened, I don't think. Oh man, they're going for Dragon here. Wow. I don't yeah. think Red Team will be in a position to stop this. No, so definitely this not. Pretty free Dragon. Yeah. Wow, great play by Blue Team to realize they can they can take this early dragon. Yeah, Olaf is actually pretty good at taking dragons early on because he as he gets lower, his attack speed increases. And with his W he can um, he can essentially gain back a lot of the life that he's losing. So he's he's actually a pretty effective early early dragon dur, especially when the whole team collapses like that. So a great great move by Blue Team to take that early dragon. Also, I think they changed um, Dragon's effectiveness in like the like how it affects everyone on the whole map but since they had four people there basically to soak up the xp and the gold they got pretty much like the full amount that they would normally rather than someone being across the map and just kind of getting the extra gold from dragon which got nerfed um in the last patch so even better for them so just taking buffs right now um Nothing too crazy going on. A little bit of a mid discrepancy in CS, about 10 CS. And a little bit in the top lane of about 15 CS. But other than that, it's pretty much even. We see the lane switching back to normal again now. Yeah, it looks like they switched back and after taking those early towers, they're back to normal. Interesting to note well, I guess it's not interesting. I guess it makes sense. Vygar just looks like he's going to go for that uh, DFG just to try and burst people even even harder, which is exactly what I guess Vygar likes to do. So Here's red team trying to get some damage here on blue team. It's working pretty effectively, but nothing nothing too too decisive. Mid lane, it looks like Shen is just kind of chilling mid since it's pushed up um, top lane. So he's just kind of soaking up some XP and helping out Vygar catch up back in CS. You see Olaf kind of breaking on bottom lane. Oh wow, this could be huge. It's a lot of damage coming down. Perception is choosing not to try and run. It's a lot of damage. Olaf's still Looks going. Like Zyra is going to go down. Oh yeah, he's mostly... Oh! oh. Missed the axe. Missed the axe, but... But Shen's coming oh. in. 
yeah, if he, if he didn't miss that, miss that axe, he would have definitely picked up that kill. A um, little bit unfortunate. Interesting to note also that Zyra went actually needlessly large rod. She just went like straight AP. Like she she isn't she isn't messing around. Bradshaw's putting some damage here on on Atherin. Wow, great play by Atherin. Elise coming down, Shen coming down. This could be a kill on 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 Annie. Both coming down, and yep, picked up kill. So that's nice. They're picking up kills where they can. Um, unfortunate about mid though. Looks like Tap Tower is getting pushed pretty hard too, and Zyra is coming up to help stop that. Yeah, wow. Yeah, Zyra's doing good, good job of clearing the waves, making sure that they aren't losing that tower. Still lots of action going down in bottom lane right now, so... Oh yeah, wow. So they're still trying to put pressure on the on the tower and trying and trying to get it. Yeah, it's going to be huge. I mean, if purple if purple team can get that bottom tower, then they don't they they can kind of regain control over the next dragon. But if that turret's still standing by the time of the next dragon, I feel like blue team can just kind of brute force their way to to dragon by pushing down mid lane and bottom lane, and then just kind of converging on dragon, and purple team wouldn't be able to stop them. So it looks like it's just some trading going on mid. Nothing, nothing too exciting right now. I think we're, we're just waiting until the next dragon comes, and then we're gonna have a large team fight that's really gonna decide the pace of the game. So both teams are just kind of building up their forces, getting ready. Karma putting some good damage here on Watari. He's kind of caught out. He's gonna take a lot of damage for this. Wow, he's he's gonna he's gonna take a lot of damage. Mid is gonna get oh mid is just gonna get destroyed here. No chance whatsoever. Great play by Blue Team to kind of get in there and keep pressure on all, on all sides of the map. Karma's Kitten getting caught out. Ooh. Karma's still putting lots of pressure on Shen. Oh yeah, wow. Still getting pushed out. Yeah, this game isn't looking too good for for Purple Team. It's gonna be tough for them to come back from here. Yeah, they're just continually applying pressure to all all, fast, all facets of the map. So I was trying to hold hold off mid, but it's it's tough. It's tough. Dragon should be spawning soon, within like the next minute, I believe. So that's um, I, I I think purple team has to try and fight for it, just to try and claw their way back into the game. Um, hope that dragon damages them a little bit, and then they take advantage of that, swoop in, and hopefully um, get back there, get back in the game. Who do you think has a better, t better team fight potential here in this situation? Team at this point, or in just in general? In kind general. Of, in general, I would say that blue team probably has the better team fight because I, I feel like Olaf can just run through a lot of the CC that that purple team has, and or, with an Ori ball on him, he can go super fast and, and severe speed super fast. So they can really just get to that back line right away and do the damage they need to do. One, one, uh, just some trading going on here, but, um, they're gonna have actually Shen ult for the next dragon fight, while as Karma's actually gonna be stuck up top, most likely. So that could be a potential 4v5. That, oh man, Olaf coming in here. This could be huge. A lot of damage coming down. Shen coming in. Looks like they're both gonna be making out of there, okay. And just that barrier right there, just saving, uh, Atherin's life right there. Just showing how important it is. Like, if he had Ignite there, he definitely would have died. So, great pickup by him. We're just gonna trade turrets here, so Dragon just spawned, so we're gonna see both teams trying to contest this. Yeah, and it looks like purple team should should be able to pick this. I think I think they really need to pick this up because they're, they're, uh, Karma's gonna get a lot of damage on top turret. They're actually doing it pretty fast. This this could be actually pretty big. Olaf's coming in. This could be a smite war. Elise gets it. Wow. Uh, Olaf's running out of there, but they they did manage to pick up Dragon, which is huge. Also, Karma decided to get off of uh, top turret, so she actually didn't get any damage on the top turret. So that's actually a really good pickup for blue uh, for purple team. Oh, here we go! They're going full full out. Uh, I don't. Yeah. Yeah, the Vigar stun kind of helped 
disengage. Yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah. That's what that's what you were talking yeah. about earlier, right? That disengage from Zyra and um, just Vygar, every, everyone, right? They, it's gonna be. I don't know if they can try and force those kind of fights where they kind of alt and just run at them. You know, it's gonna be a little bit tough. Also, when pushing turrets, Vygar Cage is very good at um, catching out somebody who maybe stays a little bit too long. And they can just blow blow that person up with Shen taunting in there, Elise hitting her cocoon, just like p piling on that CC on the one person who tries to stay a little bit too long. It's also hard for blue team to push against all of red team's wave clear too, with the Caitlyn and Zyra. And oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, that's a good point. I didn't think about that. It looks like Elise picking up the red buff <laughs> doesn't want to give that up. Might have been a mistake. Might have not been. I don't know. So just lanes being pushed out right now. I think the next big play is going to be for mid lane. Purple team needs to get that tower down just to um, kind of shore up the difference that they have between the two teams right now. So I think that's where Purple team's attention is going to be mainly focused, or should be focused in my opinion. So just some more farming going on. Looks like they're just trying to clear out, clear out the waves and just kind of, um, I guess, slow, slow down the game a little bit. There's been a lot of action so far, and they just want to kind of get their heads around them and figure out what, what what's the next big what's the, what's the next big play. You know, Elise coming around here. This, I don't know about this. Spiker taking lots of damage. They got the stun. They got the stun on Ori. They got the ult. Oh, is she gonna live? Oh, no. she gets. Oh, she doesn't make it out. Elise coming in on Olaf. Olaf uses Very ultimate. Nice wow, great Annie ult. Caitlyn's comes in. coming in. Caitlyn is coming in. Olaf is pretty strong though. Uh, looks like, wow. Severe coming in. Going all out. Just trying to get Vygar. Should be able to. Gets Vygar as well. Wow. Great play by Annie there to catch up to. Oh man. Zyra coming in here on, on Olaf. It's a lot of damage. I don't know if she can kill him, kill him though. He has a lot of health. And he she is unable to... But yeah, great play by that Annie to come in there Very and, good play. and stun up the stun up the stun up the purple team. English is hard. <laughs> wow, uh, Shen is actually really far behind. I did not notice. It's only thirty six CS. Oh in 16 boy, minutes. he's very far behind. That is that is just awful. That's that's really really bad. He's up, he's down a hundred CS on his on his top lane opponent. That is that's brutal. I mean, Shen, Shen doesn't really need farm to, to be kind of effective, but at the same time, oh there man, Oriana all coming down, Shen all coming down. This might be enough damage though. Wow, great, axe. great axe, great axe. But yeah, look, he's just not tank enough. He just does not have the items he needs to be an effective force at this point in the game. It's gonna be a while until he catches up. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think he, he just kind of fell behind a little bit from the oh man so actually Vygar didn't have his ultimate there I think he thought he had it so he tried to burst Ori Oriana down but because he didn't have it up um, she was actually able to survive through it actually I think she used her barrier actually there too so yeah she also used a barrier so next time it'll probably be a little bit easier to kill yeah true true oh nice very and nice cage by Vygar yeah that's good pick up there yep yep great great play exactly what Vygar wants to do I mean, I guess Vagar is going to be actually kind of crucial actually to these fights because he has the he has the option essentially to burst almost like four people because Annie's going to be building AP, so she's going to be able she's going to be squishy. Severe is she's uh, AD carry, so she's fairly squishy. Oriana's building AP and Karma's building AP, so he really gets to kind of pick who 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 he wants to kill. But it has to be a very it's a very important choice who he kills in the team fights. Vigor also is down a lot of CS2, only 77 compared to Oriana's 146. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, wow. That's that's huge. And that's, I, I feel like that's going to be like the difference in this game essentially because they have two laners that are behind so much CS and so much, uh, so many levels that it's, it really um, kind of exponentially decreases their chances of winning, I feel like, because their their laners are just so far behind. Yeah, Shen is two levels behind Karma right now, so... 
Looks like, like Sire is gonna go down here. Yeah, wow. Nice pickup. Really abusing that movement speed that, that he had there um, to kind of dodge out Zyra's, Zyra's roots and just get in there. Keep, keep the stun on him. Stun on her. So looks like they're going to be moving for a dragon. I'm guessing it's spawning like six seconds or so. Um, I mean, they, they, they should have the timer, so it should be up by now. They will not have Shenult for this dragon fight, though, so... Yeah, and there there's no red way. Red team has no clue. Oh, that blue team is doing dragon right now, so this is going to be a free pickup. Yeah, it's it's looking really bleak. I think for purple team, their best chance is to try and just shore up their defenses, wait until they try and push towers, and then try and catch them out with the Vega stun and the rest of their CC. That's their best chance, honestly. They can't really fight in the open grounds because uh, blue team will just abuse their movement speed potential to get out of that, um, get out of those taunts and out of those CCs and then reposition for a better fight. So they, they really have to kind of just play D at this point to try and catch back up. Blue buffs being picked up, transferred to Severe, which it, I guess is fine. It doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, I don't know. This, this is going to be very, very tough for a purple team to get back in this. They're just behind quite a bit. Shen just picking up his Sunfire Cape right now. Yeah, 20, 20 minutes <laughs> Sunfire Cave, that's not that's not really ideal. Still only 52 CS. That's very, very rough. Very rough indeed. So nothing really happening so far. They're just kinda pushing up the lanes again, just getting ready, getting ready for the next big team fight. Um, and I definitely think if they well, Zyra's... Oh, Zyra should be okay here, I think. Well, maybe not. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. She's not okay. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's very hard to get away from blue team with all their chase potential, too. Yeah, all their speed ups, all their... Oriana. Oh! Very... Here they go. Play. Annie taking the taking the damage, but Olaf's coming in. Severe coming in from the side. Shen Severe coming out. going to get blown up. She was very out of position there. Kaylin off by herself. She... Oh! She has some reinforcements here. They got Vygar. They got Elise. They got Oriana. Oh, oh very nice flash. The flash by Yang Gim to save to save his friend's Still life. And then he dies. The, yeah. <laughs> Still gets caught by the Vygar stun. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. Kitten going a little bit too go. far. Bradshaw does not have um, does not have his ultimate. He does not have his DFG. He does not have Ignite. But he still thinks he can. I, th I, th I think they should be able to pick up Atherin here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, for sure. Possibly could have even gotten Annie. I feel like if they could have like divided themselves a little bit better, like let uh, let Caitlyn one v one Oriana, and then Vigar just go kind of goes after the Annie. It would be a little bit more risky, but they need they need all the gold they can get at this point. They're behind seven k. Wow, very tough. Looks like they should be able to get this mid turret here, which is. A nice little pickup because they really, they really need they the really pickup. They really need the gold right now. Yeah. They're doing okay, like objective-wise. Like they're pretty much even. They're down one dragon. They're down one tower. So it's pretty even, except for the lane CS, which yeah. is really. Which makes a huge difference. Yeah, yeah. That's really the deciding factor right now. Looks like purple team's trying to maybe catch out somebody. Looks like Karma might get caught. Okay. Yeah, she's very fast though. She yeah. just uses that that shield and she's off to the races. Oh man, not if she gets stunned though. Nope. <laughs> yeah, a little bit little bit caught out there. Shouldn't shouldn't have been walking out there all by herself. It's also new uh, no blue wards around this area either, so. Yeah, definitely. Purple team's really trying to force this turret here. They're really just trying to claw their way back in the game. This is going to be very dangerous, though. Olaf's coming in right on Vygar. Vygar yeah, can't yeah, do anything. Vygar, yeah. Ult very comes in. nice Oriana ult. Very nice. Yep. And here comes Severe just to clean up. Olaf gets the stun off. That is a dead Caitlyn. Great play. Great play. Yeah, so that, that's just what we mentioned earlier, right? Like, Olaf just runs straight at yeah, Vygar, and Vygar is like, has, please, save me, guys. <laughs> guys, anybody? No? <laughs> yeah. And he just kind of gets walked over, but... They even won that fight 4v5, too, because after yep. Karma got out. So. Yep. 
No, they definitely played the, that team fight really well. They they put the ball on Olaf and let Olaf run into their team. They got the Oriol, beautiful Oriol, on like three people, I think. So it was just very nice. They're trying to save their inhibitor here. Looks like Olaf is going to go down here. Oh, he's very tanky. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you're taking a lot of damage, though. Yeah, wow, he's he's low, he's low. Looks like... And then uh, re -engage. Yeah, blue team's looking to re-engage here. Uh, I don't think they'll be able to... Oh, Hufos gets caught out here. Gets blown up. Yeah, stayed a little bit too long. So, yeah, I don't know. Pretty good game though so far. I feel like both teams are playing very, very well. So yeah, it's up to blue team here now. They can just either take Baron or they can push the tower. It's really up to them how they want to how, how they want to play this out. Especially now with the inhibitor down, it gives them a lot of freedom. I feel like they're going to want to team fight again and just try to end the game. Okay. Yeah, yeah rather than try and risk maybe yeah. like a Yeah, if you're already ahead, then there's no... You don't really need to crush the Baron at all. Right, fair enough. Blue team picking up another dragon, increasing the gold we use even more. Yeah, at this point, the, there's just too much of a gold lead, I feel like, for a purple team to come back. Unless, even if they got, like, an ace and, like, a tower. It'd still be a while before they actually got enough gold. To yeah, they, they need, like, two of those scenarios to come back into this game and realistically win. Oh, looks like they're trying to engage here on the Olaf. I'm not sure if that's going to work out. Yeah, <laughs> that's not a lot of damage on him. Elise is getting caught out. It's like blue team is looking to engage. Just like you said, they're looking just to straight fight 5v5. With mid and him gone, they're yeah. super They got the Annie coming in. Flash ult. Everyone's yeah. going in now. There's no turning back. Oh. Olaf sitting on Vigar, not letting Olaf's him breathe. so tanky. <laughs> and they just keep on going, and yeah. that's the game. Yeah. Samuel game. cleaning up, and that's the game. Doesn't get the Penta. Doesn't get the Penta. Says he's <laughs> And uh, yeah, that was a great game. Great engage there by Blue Team. So yeah, Making I think. Use of the Karma Sivir. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It was just great. They really utilized their comp, and I'm sure they practiced it or something like that. But great for them. Anyways, we'll be starting up probably within the next five minutes or so. So don't go away, guys, and we'll have more amazing games for you right away.